How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? How are we feeling? Happy Monday. I just got back from the gym. Did a later, a later session today. Uh, but I wanted to hop on here and take, give some advice. Take any questions for any of you who are wanting to start getting a workout or eating healthier or reach your fitness goals. I am here to answer any questions before uh, I go shower. <laughs> How's everybody's weekend? How's it going? Uh, oh, I don't know your, what, what's your name? Uh, ra, 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 ra. <laughs> what's your name? All right, just waiting for a few more minutes before I get going. In the meantime, Arlene from Jordan. What's going on, Arlene? How's your Monday going? Is it Monday or is it Tuesday in Jordan? Um, forgive me if I don't know. But it's Monday. Happy Monday. Hope you have an amazing day so far, start of the week. For those of you who are just joining, how's it going? How are we feeling? Happy Monday. I hope everybody's feeling energetic. And if you're not, well, you've come to the right place to find that energy. I wanted to hop on here to share with you guys some nutrition stuff, some uh, fitness stuff. Um, I just got back from the gym, so I, I felt inspired to go live here and, uh, and just chat with you guys. I did a later gym session than normally. I changed my routine. Happy Monday. Uh, I'm, getting, I'm guessing Jennifer. Happy Monday. Um, so I want to take some time to give some advice, but also answer any questions or any about nutrition or fitness. I don't just focus on um, life stuff like mental health, but I also do, I'm a certified um, um, trainer as well. So I do fitness and nutrition as part of my coaching, as part of the health part of the coaching that I do. And so yeah, it just, it, it goes, the mind and the body are one right and if you want to feel better fit, uh, emotionally and mentally you also have to take care of your body and you know whatever you give it what the the nutrition is like whatever food you're giving it it's like the gas of a car right think think of your, your yourself as a, as a car and the water is the oil and you know the electricity um, of it is your is your mind like your thoughts how you feel right so if you're especially nowadays with cars being so electric if something is electrically wrong you can have good gas and good everything but you're not the car's not going to function right so we as humans are the same so yeah i wanted to take some time to hop on here and check to see how you guys are doing happy freaking monday if you're just getting uh i don't know where you are in the world but if you're towards the end of your monday I hope it's been an awesome one, and if it hasn't, let's change that. You've come to the right place. I want to bring all the energy to you guys, all but nothing but all the good and positive vibrations, and uh, just bring a smile and, and some um, elevate you a little bit with some some positive vibrations to you all. Um, yes, the vibes. Namaste. Quebec, Canada. You know, it's on my list. I want to go to Canada. It's uh, everyone's. I I I have friends from Canada, and they're all so kind, and I really love kind people, obviously. So uh, I'm gonna turn up the light here because it's a little dark. Uh, but hello, Iowa. Hello, Iowa. You guys have how's the weather in Iowa right now? Um, I know there's some folks are getting like a storm coming up. So Minnesota. Nice, Minnesota. We got people from all over the place. Australia. Oh, I love my Aussies. I love Australians. They're such amazing people. Uh, hello, hello. Thank you so much for joining. Snowing, cold. Woo. Yeah, I'm in Tennessee and uh, it's been raining today uh, for the last couple of days actually. Um, but uh, you gotta enjoy it all. You know, the rain, the, uh, the snow, the cold, enjoy it all. It's all beautiful, right? Uh, anyways, if you're just hopping in South Padre Island, nice, hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for all of your kind messages and uh, 
Snowstorm. Oh shitties. <laughs> That's not fun. Uh, I, I, I learned to appreciate the snow. I'm more of a warm weather type of dude just because I got arthritis and like it hurts my joints, the cold, the cold weather. Um, but I learned to appreciate all the, all the seasons that the world has to offer. Um, so yeah, but uh, I am more of a tropical warm type of guy. So yeah. Uh, Poland, yes. Uh, see if I can remember my Polish. Uh, I know Tak and Nasrovia and Chich. Is it Chich or oh, shit? I don't remember. <laughs> but hello, hello. Um, thank you so much for joining. Moving to Texas. Okay, moving to Texas. That's uh, it's gonna be a very different. That's awesome. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, well, thank you everybody for joining. And again, I want to wish you all an amazing, amazing, uh, Chesh, that's right, it's Chesh. Uh, amazing <laughs> day so far, an amazing start of your week. And I just, like I said uh, earlier, I just got back from the gym and I usually go in the mornings, but I went in the afternoon because I got busy this morning. And with the time change and all, I, I felt a little off. But it's good. I like to change the tempo of things, and I still went. And I wanted to give you guys some tips and some answering questions if you're maybe already going to the gym, or maybe you're trying to get to the gym, or workout, or nutrition, or anything like that, uh, because it really is going to help you feel better, guys. Like um, I know the mental state is is a lot with how we feel energetically and, and how our bodies feel. So. Uh, by working out, you release a lot, a lot of a lot of chemicals and dopamine and endorphins and things of that nature. So there's a huge amount of uh, awesome, awesome uh, benefits from working out or just doing some sort of physical activity. And it builds confidence and it builds character. And more importantly, it's really, really healthy for your body. So um, yeah. So. Any questions that um, at all? If you don't have any, I want to give some, and then if you have any, just start, just start typing it up and let me know. All right. Uh, I get really hyper after the gym, uh, and this is a test. This is why I wanted to show you guys um, that it's beautiful natural energy. Sometimes I'm really tired from it, but then I take a really cold shower after and feel great. <laughs> so, um, but yes. First thing to do is drink water when you wake up. If you're not doing this, you need to do it. And what I like to do is carry this guy with me, okay, right here. I drink, I try to drink a minimum one of these bad boys a day, if not two or three, ideally. And right when you wake up in the morning, you have yourself some water, you're honestly gonna, uh, <laughs> You're gonna feel great. It's gonna wake up all your organs. It's gonna uh, mentally, and it also is, it speeds up your metabolism. So you actually it helps you in a way burn fat a little bit um, before you have your coffee or your breakfast. So always have like a cup of cup, a uh, cup of coffee, cup of water, uh, right when you when you get up in the morning, and it's really gonna make you feel great. Try it out tomorrow. Just try it out. Doesn't it's not gonna cost you anything. So just try. It. Uh, just tell me how you feel. Uh, you're gonna definitely notice a difference. You may have to, you're gonna feel like your organs are gonna wake up and all that. Um, and then and then have your coffee, you know, and or your breakfast and things like that. Um, secondly, it's breakfast. Have a light breakfast. Don't heavy, heavy up on your breakfast and have nutritional things. You know, think about it. Your body, you've been sleeping for, you know, six to eight hours is a ra the range that some people, um, the people uh, get sleep and for that amount of time, you're not drinking water, you're not eating. So your body is doing a lot of work, whether it's digesting, recuperating, releasing toxins. You know, if you're working out, it's recovering all those great things. So waking up, if you just wake up and you give your body caffeine, which is dehydrating even more and it's pretty intensive, um, it's not really the best thing to do to your body, right? So just give it water, which our bodies are made over 50% are made out of water. So give yourself some water first thing in the morning and then give yourself a light nutritional breakfast, such as uh, I like to have avocado toast. So I have a little avocado, uh, I have a little toast, put some avocado, sprinkle a little salt, a little bit of uh, um, pepper, 
and uh, put an egg over easy egg on the top. So good. <laughs> but uh, yeah, have that. Uh, avocados are really, really good for you. Really high healthy fats, and also it's gonna give you really good for your for your brain, right? Um, and so it's gonna help you focus in the morning and feel alert. So I highly recommend consuming avocados in the morning to make you feel good. And it's healthy, good fatties. So have one little toast. Um, if you're a guy and you have a you like to eat more, maybe have two toasts. Like I have two toasts with two eggs, um, and that usually works for me. Uh, and then I usually go to the gym afterwards. Um, I used to work out first and then eat, which you can also do. Um, it's actually a good thing to do that. Um, but I, I like to switch things up. I don't like to get comfortable with anything. I like to constantly be switching things up um, to an extent. So I'm never in my comfort zone. I'm always changing things up. Uh, and then um, if I get hungry, you have to, let me tell you something about hunger, okay? Sometimes it's not hunger. Sometimes you're thirsty and you're not drinking enough water. So make sure you're drinking enough water uh, and you're, it's gonna fill you also um, if you get hungry between, between snacks. But if you do get hungry, hey, Wisconsin. Sorry, I had to say hello to Wisconsin. Wisconsin are my people, the cheese heads. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so what was I saying? Uh, oh yeah, what was I saying? Water, right? Yeah, so drink water because it is, um, it's gonna make you feel good in between meals, that's right. And if you're hungry, have like a healthy snack, like celery with some peanut butter. Yeah, it's good, good for you. Celery has a lot of great benefits, lots of vitamins, uh, antioxidants, things of that nature. Or maybe you have an apple. Uh, Plums have an amazing amount. They're one of the top superfoods. Plums, uh, so maybe have a fruit. Uh, you have to be careful with fruit. Don't have too much because it has a lots of sugar. So you want to be careful. But um, yeah, have a little snack like that. But drink water. You've got to drink some water. <laughs> so uh, yes, and then. You should have a pretty light lunch, but with some protein. So today I had salmon with some potatoes. I sliced them very thinly, did them with a little bit of avocado oil and got them nice and brown and uh, with, with a salad. So you have the high healthy fatties from the salmon, the omegas and a nice yummy salad with some, a little bit of carbs. So hello from Kenya. That's awesome. Kenya, I wanna go there too. I wanna to go to so many places, guys. I wanna visit all of you, wherever you are. Every, it's my goal, visit every place in the world. Okay, focus, Alex. Yes, so after that, if you're hungry after lunch, um, make sure that you, again, if you have a snack, that it is a healthy one. Try to not eat so many carbs, you know, it's gonna make you lethargic. So, and drink lots of water. That's lots of water. Drink lots of water. By the, by the time you're done with this, you're gonna be like, okay, we got it, Alex, drink water. I just want you guys to really get it in your heads. Drink water. Um, what are your thoughts on putting lemon in your water? I think it's excellent. I think it's, there's so many benefits with lemon. Um, lots of antioxidants really really good and it's also it's it's known to to help with weight loss as well so uh absolutely lemon is is uh, on water is good and it gives a little bit more more flavor so uh who is from kenya bro uh i kenya maybe i don't know about kenya uh that is remy that's it that's who's from kenya i feel like a like a fish when I drink lots of water. <laughs> well, that's good. Fish are cool. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I mean, what well, we are made over 50% of our bodies is made out of water. So we're kind of like a fish in a way, right? Uh, so hopefully all this talk of water is making you thirsty. Um, okay, so dinner. Right, so dinner, 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 chicken, whatever, how that saying goes. Um, for dinner, I like to have a protein and some carbs because 
during the night, like I said, six to eight hours, you're asleep, your body's like working, and it's also taking a lots of new nutrients, right? But you don't want to go heavy, heavy on, on uh, carbs because then your body is like overworking itself um, and that's not good. So you want to eat carbs, but like a little bit on the lighter side for the carbs. Um, so if I have, um, typically I have like pasta or have salmon uh, or like shrimp um, with some veggies or, you know, things of that nature. I made uh, shepherd's pie the other day, vegan shepherd's pie. Uh, and uh, it was great. It was really tasty. It's really comforting. It was cold. So it was great. Um, but yeah. So uh, yeah. So stay away from fast food. That's pretty obvious. Stay away from saturated fats. Stay away from anything that has preservatives. And if you don't know, if you don't understand the ingredient, you should probably not eat it. I am. Um, I don't eat meat personally. I eat fish, um, but I don't eat meat. And I don't consume dairy. So, um, and I feel great. I like to put things in my body that are alive, such as plants and veggies. Hi, watching from Kuwait. That's awesome. Hello. What do you think about about what vegetarians? I can't type today. It's okay. I can never type. At least it's just today for you. <laughs> Uh, vegetarians, I think it's great. Honestly, like I have nothing against it. I think it's, it's, um, you know, there's when you when you consume meat, there's there's positives, but there's also so many negatives, right? Like there's a lot of hormones in the meat and the animal you're consuming and things like that. Um, and vegetarian, you know, the, make sure you go organic, of course, and things of that nature. But uh, I think I, I used to consume lots of meat, a lot of meat when I was. Um, I don't know, years ago, and I, I tried it out. I said, I'm gonna try being full vegan, see how I feel, and I felt like shit for the first week, because I went hardcore, but then I started to feel amazing. My energy went up, like everything went up. Strength, uh, I feel more focused, and like the best feeling was eating and not feeling like, like this. <laughs> you know, the dairy was very like heavy. I felt like every time I would eat, I felt like sleepy, like, like dragging ass, a lot of that. Um, so ever since I started eat more clean, I just like, oh, I feel great. You know, you get hungry a little bit more when you are first doing it, but um, you eat more veggies or you eat uh, things of that nature and, and you learn like about different uh, nutrients, like different nuts and things like that. And I don't know, I, I mean like, I'm not like super extremely fit, but I have uh, pretty good, Pretty good. Um, I've, I've been able to reach all my goals uh, and lift pretty strong for my for my weight, and uh, I feel great. Most importantly, you know, put the looks aside and all that bullshit. Uh, I feel great. So, yeah. Uh, do you recommend not eating after a certain time in the evening? Yes, absolutely. Don't eat right before going to bed. So you should allow your your body to digest minimum at least a couple hours. I would say because, well, it's not good to go to bed on a full stomach, but uh, it's also really hard on your stomach, right? Because when you're, like as humans, like we are up, right? Most of the time, like we got legs. So we are like either walking or we're, sit we're sitting, but our, our bodies are up. They're designed to be up, right? And so when you go down and you're sleeping, everything shifts, right? And how our bodies are working and things of that nature also does, does too. So if you eat a lot and um, you go right to bed like an hour later or 30 minutes later, you're gonna feel shitty. Um, and if you don't, it's, it's definitely really hard on your body to digest, right? So I would give your body that chance. So I like to eat dinner around seven, six, around there, sometimes even um, as early as 5.30. I also like that because it allows uh, for me to do other things like meditation afterwards. Um, I love meditating before going to bed and uh, sometimes we do energy work or I'll write down things that I want to do for the next day, you know, sort of those things and just be able to relax and not have to just eat and then like, you know, go straight to bed type of deal. So I would recommend not 
doing that. Like, don't eat and then go to bed right away. Uh, vegetarians, I can't even type today. Oh yeah, I already read that. Well, hot dog, hot dang, hello, hello. Hi from Chicago. Chicago, I give up meat. Long time ago, good for you, that's awesome. Yeah, uh, yeah, me too. It's just not for me. I think if you are able to stop eating meat, you can achieve anything you want. Yeah, I mean, you can achieve anything you want, period. It's all like right here. It's like, it's such a cool, I, it's such a cool fact, right? Like, if you want, for example, to lose weight, you can lose weight. If you want to learn how to play basketball, you can learn how to play basketball. If you want to, whatever you want to do, you can actually do. And that's like, that's the one thing that I, I teach and I, and I want people to just to get in their heads, to reprogram themselves, that really there's nothing you can't do. Now, don't expect things to happen right now, always, or tomorrow. Some things take time, just like when you want to get a degree, right? You go to college and you show up to class, right, to learn. Life is just one big lesson. You just got to, there's so many opportunities to learn and do things differently. Um, and the moment you can just be like, hey, I want to be happy, then learn what it means to be happy. I want to, you know, uh, feel good about myself. Learn what that means. What, what does that even mean to you? And and uh, and dedicate that time and, and anything is really possible. I want to eat healthier, so do it. When people tell me, oh, well, it's hard, Alex. <sighs> well, that's because you're telling yourself that it's hard, right? If I tell myself, well, you know, I can't do this. I, I, I can't do it, then you're right. You're not gonna do it, right? But if you change your perspective and you're willing to say, you know what? That's gonna be challenging, but I can do it. Now it's different, right? Cause you're like, you're accepting that it's gonna be challenging, but you're also saying like, but you know what, regardless of that, I'm, I want this so bad that I'm gonna still do it. And that's what it, that's what it comes down to, right? So when I go to the gym, like I'm feeling like when I, when I was doing like uh, chest today and I was like, I was doing uh, on my eighth rep and I was like, oh my gosh, I was shaking, right? I'm shaking and, and I'm like, okay, this shit is tough, but I got two more no matter what, no matter what. I did one more and the last, and I'm like, holy shit. All right, one more, dude, come on, you got this, you got this. I go down and, say, <laughs> and I'm just squeezing, pushing, 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 bam. You know, I made it and it's pushing through that believing and pushing through that the tough part right that's the pinnacle moment that is the moment of growth right there and that gives you confidence and you're like oh it's kind of like the gym right when it gets tough if you if i just push and as long as i believe in the goal and the things that i want right by going to the gym and working out then i can i can really do anything it doesn't mean it's going to be easy but i can still get it done i'm still going to try and i'm still going to give it my best so uh, believe you that you can and you're halfway there exactly it's a lot of it you your mind controls everything and you control your mind right because that's just the fact um, it's a beautiful thing you're going to be really sore the next day <laughs> yeah you're gonna be sore but that's good because that's that's that means you're you're in the right path to your goal right that means you're you're growing your muscles. It's like that's life, right? Sometimes you go through things and and it's gonna be sore and, and you're gonna be like, oh man, that hurts. But I love being sore because it's like, yeah, you know, I'm I'm doing it right and it's part of the process. And uh, if you can just learn to accept things like being sore rather than let it be discouraging then it's like that with everything else in life that comes to you it may be a little painful and be tough you know that you're going to get through it you just got to keep pushing forward so that is what i think uh hello friend from ohio hello cow cow the shores of lake Erie. okay no dairy for me positive results very nice yeah i eat i use vegan butter which tastes just like regular butter um, i use avocado spray um, algeria hello 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 um and I, I, olive oil and stuff like that 
I try to use organic things. And I love to cook, guys. I really do. I love to cook. It's like a stress reliever. And I put some good music. I put a little bit of wine. I have a glass of wine a day. It's good for the heart. By the way, if you didn't know, I use, uh, I like red, whites in the summer and on the weekend. But yeah, just drink a little wine, you know, put a little bit of Frank Sinatra or something and just cook, have fun with it. And uh, it doesn't have to be like, oh my gosh, you know. It's all your perspective. But yes, uh, absolutely. Hello from CT, recovering from injury, chronic pain. I hope you are in good recovery and I wish you the best. Um, I really do. Stay strong, okay? And I, I wish you the best recovery. You got this from whatever you're recovering from. And uh, thank you so much for sharing that. Really appreciate it. Eduardo, my man. Are you still chilling by the beach, man? I'm so jealous. Eduardo is an awesome guy. Guys, uh, J. Eduardo Ramos is his handle, um, if you see him here. Hello, Jesse from Houston, Texas. Um, but yeah, Eduardo is awesome. He's always shows up in my life. He's such a cool dude. I got the opportunity to talk to him. Um, really, really smart, really grounded guy. Um, so go ahead and give him a like or a follow. You won't regret it. Um, but yes, what was I talking about? Uh, food, right? Something like that. <laughs> Uh, love your energy. Thank you for all your advice. Yeah, absolutely. This is what I do. This is what I do, guys. This is what I do is uh, I chose to live this, have this lifestyle. I chose to help people because I have gone through a lot of shite in my life and I don't want any of you guys to keep feeling the way you're feeling. I learned the hard way on how to push through things, you know, and I said to myself, I worked, you, a lot of you already know my story, but if you don't know, I used to work at Google and I like, had the best job, good paying, blah, 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 da, 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 right? I was like, oh, it's my dream job. But then I was like, I'm not happy. I want to, I feel like I have a bigger and greater purpose in life. And uh, I've, I did some digging and I'm, I'm really thinking in, uh, about what that was. And I've always loved to help people and I've helped thousands of people before I decided to become a life coach and health coach. And um, and I was like, you know what? That's what I'm going to do. Fuck it. So I quit Google and I said, I don't know if this is going to work out, but uh, here we go. <laughs> so, um, yeah. And then I just been doing it and I show up every single day with a smile on my face, with the right intentions. Um, and my intentions are to help people and I'm working on doing events, here coming shortly and I'm excited to get on stage and be able to reach more people and I'm going to be doing live feeds here on TikTok for those events um, and on my other platforms and uh, it's going to be awesome guys. I don't want to give anything away but it's going to be an experience coming to these events. It's not like a PowerPoint like and this is why it's important for you to be happy. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's not going to be any of that. It's going to be a lot of high energy, beautiful energy. It's going to be experiences of smells and of touch and you know uh, a little bit of psychology and and not just your what you would expect on a traditional event um, so yeah I'm super excited but yeah this is what I love doing I love helping others and uh, I think we can all be happy I have my tough days like anybody else but I have the tools on how to get me through those tough days and that's what I also want to teach everybody. It's like things that work, right? So then you can be like, oh shit, I'm having a shitty day. I recognize that. Hey, I know what to do to get me to get through this day. It's okay to have shitty days. We all have them. But you should know how to move forward with them because life is short and you only live once. So have you thought about writing a book or do a podcast? Great question. I have a podcast. If you like podcasts, I have two types of podcasts. Two types of podcasts. I have one. It's called Bravery Consulting. It's got my line, my logo. It looks like this. And uh, there's that one. Actually, it's got me in the background, a black and white picture of this, you know, and then the line. But check that one out. I need to do more podcasts, guys. This is my microphone here. It's my little system here. So yeah. Uh, I'm going to be doing one probably this week. So yeah, bravery, consulting like my handle, 
Look it up. Check it out. Tell me what you think. If you like it, if you don't, that's okay. Tell me that too. Be like, hey, Alex, talk about this or what about that? Give me feedback. Um, book, not yet, but I want to one day. I feel like I'm almost there to the journey in which I want to write books. But yes, uh, I've been, I, I want to share with people with everything that I've gone through um, that you can come out of this. You can't come out of anything, right? Uh, for those of you who know a little bit about my story, um, you know, you you have a little bit of an idea of the things I've gone through and some of the challenges and things like that. So, uh, but those of you who don't, then I want to also work on a video, a YouTube video that just tells people like, hey, this is why I'm a life coach and most importantly, this is who I am. I'm Alex, this is what I'm all about and this is what I've gone through in life. This is how I came, this is how I overcame all of those things. And that's how I want to help. This is why I want to help you overcome your obstacles in life. Um, okay, hello, Kristen. Where are you video from? Um, where am I from? Is that, is that the question? Uh, I think that's the question. Please verify truck 3100. Um, how old were you were when you quit Google and started doing that? Have you studied psychology? Great question. Um, I was 30, 30 uh, when I quit Google and or was it 31? <laughs> Anyways, I don't know how old that was, 30, 31, but uh, and what was the question? And so doing that. Uh, basically, like I just, I was working for the company for a year, almost two years actually, um, and then when I was coming on my second year, I was like, you know, you get, a, you have a pretty good foundation, a pretty good understanding of, of everything, and um, I just realized like it just, I wasn't happy, you know. Um, did I study psychology? I don't have a degree in psychology, if that's your question, but I did study psychology, and I continue to read um, a lot about psychology. I have my mixed feelings about psychology. I think there's the psychology of understanding the brain and human behavior is good, but the like going to therapy psychology, I think it's a little old school. That's why I chose to go with life coaching because life coaching is more raw. It's more uh, like just not as like, oh yes, please tell me about that. No, I'm not gonna ever say that to you ever. <laughs> I'm gonna be very human with you, right? And I'm gonna be like, we're gonna talk like we are now. And and I also like to use myself as an example so you know that I know what you're experiencing because I have experience, right? Versus psychologists, they will not do that. They're not allowed to do that. So um, I think it, if, I, if you're telling me a story about, for example, abuse, right? And and if I can be like, yeah, I understand abuse and I can share a little quick story about how I know that feeling. And because I have that experience, I can resonate with you. And because I got through it, I know what works. I think it's, there's a lot more power to that. Um, so there's not as many rules in life coaching, life and health coaching, where uh, as uh, psychology is a little bit more like very by the book. And that's fine. I have nothing against psychology. It's just not my style person not my style so life coaching sets goals not blame I think yep exactly exactly like that so um, it's life coach is more goal oriented so um, if you have a goal whether it's happiness career fitness or whatever it is that's when I come in and I'm a coach like that's what it's called coaching life coaching it's like uh, like we need a coach for a sport you want to achieve a goal you want to get better at playing or someone that gives you tools and plays on how to become a better player. Well, that's what I do, right, for life. And if I'm ever, um, which I haven't yet, knock on wood, if I ever have a client which I feel unequipped to help them, I will very, very, very respectfully tell them like, hey, you know what, this is beyond me, but let me give you with a professional psychologist, and I have lots of my good friends, psychologists, that are, are trained and can equip you, are better equipped to, to help you with this. But that has not happened yet. So, um, yeah, I have gone through a lot of shite that has made me really strong and has given me lots of experience in a short amount of time in my life. So I'm very blessed for that. 
And that's why I chose to take this responsibility because it's a responsibility. People are trusting you to help them to reach their goals. And I'm in business and I have, I'm doing this because it works and people are happy with it. So, um, and it comes from my heart. I don't do it because, uh, I don't know. There's a lot of life coaches out there that are just lost a little bit and that's okay to be lost, but you should probably try to find yourself. And they're just, oh, this is like a trend to be a life coach. I'm gonna be a life coach. But they don't have any concrete background or really effective um, tools to really help people. And I don't agree with that. And so there's a little bit of a mixed feeling with life coaching, um, and that's too bad. But I don't, I'm not putting my energy on that. I'm just simply showing people like, hey, this is who I am. I'm Alex, this is what I'm about. This is how I, this is my energy. This is what I teach. That's why I come on here. I share a little bit, a little bit of my knowledge. Um, but when you work with me, I share, you have me, right? You have all of me, all of my tools. And my, when we first meet, I say, hello, this is your toolbox, you know? And my goal is to give you as many tools to put in your toolbox that you can fit in so uh, you can feel more prepared and happier and empowering and, and just feel great every day in your life, okay? So yes, goal oriented 100%. Uh, I love the integrity my former life coach approach outside of her scope in the same way as you. Oh, right on. Yeah, you have to, I, you have to, you know, like I, if you have to fire a client, you have to fire them. And this is what I mean. Like, if you come to me and you're like, Alex, Alex, I'm dying of thirst. I need water. Can you please give me some water? i would be like, yeah, I got you. I'll get you some water. So I go, you know, and get some water for you. And I put it in front of you. And I say, here you go. And you're like, well, I, I, I can't reach it. Can you like, can you just give it to me? I will say, no, I will not reach. I will not just give it to you. I brought it to you. Right now, it is up to you to take action to reach for it and fix your thirst. So that water, that glass of water, is the tools, is the motivation, is everything that I have to offer. But you have to want, you have to want to make a change. You have to want to actually make a difference in your life. And if you're not willing to, I'm not gonna beg you. I'm not gonna force it on you. And I don't want to waste my time because I could be helping other other people. I don't care about the money. I'm not doing this for the money. I believe in doing what you're passionate for and being true with it and abundance will come. That's a strong belief that I have. And because I, I operate this way, I don't ever worry about money. I just do me and I, I, I focus on just being genuine and like doing my passion. So yeah, yeah, that's what I got to say to that. Uh, for those of us who don't know your backstory, please do a video so we can learn. You bet, Jennifer, I will. I'm working on that. Um, I feel like I can't do it on TikTok for obvious reasons because it would be like, it's not enough time. But my um, YouTube channel, I need to grow it. And I am gonna do a video there so you can check it out. So if you don't follow me on YouTube, go to my profile. Do a little link, click on that, and you can see my YouTube, my podcast, and my Instagram. All those links are gonna be there on that link tree. Um, yeah, like, subscribe, whatever, how that thing goes. <laughs> and you will get a notification when I am, when I post that video. Oh shit, I don't know what that says. I'm sorry, uh, Dorsey, uh, I don't speak, I'm not sure what that what language that is. Do you speak English by chance? Um, but yeah, basically I'll give you a short, quick, quick rundown. I was born in Argentina, lived pretty poor, um, went through some shite as a kid, moved to the U S in 1999, um, lived in Florida, Oregon, California, uh, Utah. And then I lived in England for a little bit and then I came back. I uh, joined the Marines. I was in the Marine Corps, in the military for seven years. Got out of the military, went to school, had a business, and started doing marketing. Um, went through severe depression, went through a divorce, had struggled with PTSD, struggled with anxiety. Um, 
had abusive parents mentally and physically. Uh, been on my own since 17 and left Google in the corporate world. I was, I reached my goal and then, um, um, and for, as you heard, just to pursue what I'm passionate about. So that's like a really like super fast story right there. <laughs> uh, my background. Um, so yeah, so I need to change lifestyle. Nobody else can't change. Yes. Correct. Hungarian. Oh, that's cool. My dog is Hungarian. He's a Vishla. <laughs> well, that's awesome. Thank you for sharing that. Yes, 100%. You have to, you are in charge of your own self, ladies and gentlemen. Nothing else, as much as we want to think that uh, the outside world affects us, which it can, absolutely, uh, we still get to choose how we want to feel. Facts. Facts, right? Everything I'm telling you right now, you have a choice. You can either be like, ah, eh, nah, which is totally fine. Or you'd be like, okay, I'll give it a try. Or you can be like, ah, it's too hard. Or you can be like, uh, I don't know, you know, whatever. But, um, oh, thank you so much, uh, Renee. But yeah, it's really up to you. And I'm, I, I have a, a pool of experience to attest to that, you know. Um, Thanks for sharing your story. Nice to meet you. I'm from Puerto Rico. I live in Seattle. Right on. Puerto Rico. I like Puerto Rico. I want to go there too. <laughs> um, so yeah, I I would um, yeah, it's just it's all perspective. And people that just want to that don't see that is because they're telling themselves a story, right? Like Oh, life sucks. Oh, um, I am this. I am that. I am terrible. I am not good enough. I'm so whatever you tell yourself, it's what you're gonna be. It's what your what your blah, 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 your reality is gonna be. <laughs> Sorry, I need a break. Get a hydrate. Remember. Uh, anyways, but yeah, that's uh, and. Si, hablo español. Yes, I do speak Spanish. I was born in Argentina. So, yes, I speak Spanish. Um, so, yeah. Currently in Puerto Rico, just for March. Nice. Nice. I'm trying to go to... I'm going to go to Mexico in August. I think I'm going to Tulum. Just, I need some time to just sit at the beach and just unplug. Um, it's good for you. It's good for the soul. It's good. So if you haven't gone on a vacation, which it makes sense because of COVID, things are starting to open up everywhere. So, you know, plan a trip. Maybe you just do a trip like one state over or something, but do something for yourself. Seriously, no joke. Scotland. Nice, beautiful place. Oh my God. Scotland is absolutely beautiful. Hello. Hello, hello. Uh, hi from North Alabama. North Alabama. Okay. Hello. Hey, Paula. Oh my gosh, I'm getting weight from the, that cloudy weather. For one month, yes. I, the cloudy, the clouds are, the clouds are tough. They're good. They're good. I like the clouds. Um, international dialogue. Oh wait, internal dialogue. Oh, sorry. Internal dialogue and unexamined belief and condition. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely, Renee. You are very correct. Yay, Espanol. That's right. We, we speak Castellano. Some Argentinians are so snobby. I hate it. But yeah, I'm not a snobby Argentinian, by the way. I, I talk a lot of shite. No, I don't talk shit, but I make fun of them because I'm Argentinian, so I can do that. And I'm also Italian, so it's kind of like a, bah, a little bit of both. Um, uh, yes, I need to do one in Spanish, huh? Oh, man. That's good. That's good because it puts me outside of my comfort zone. That's really good. I like that. I'll take that challenge. I'll take that challenge of the world. I feel like I would have to create a Spanish account for that, don't you think? Because my English speaking folks would be like, uh, what the fuck? <laughs> right? So, um, yeah. So, Victoria, how are you doing again? Um, I don't know what to tell you about your boss. Um, I would just, if he did you wrong, 
then yeah, I'll definitely report him and make sure you take the legal action necessary. That's good that you are doing a getaway. Yes. Hi, Alex. I am always looking for your lives. Love to hear from your advice. Thank you so much for your support. I'm sorry, I forgot your name. I know you've been on my lives. Um, you guys should put your name on your handle. Okay. <laughs> uh, oh my God, I have something on my tooth. Okay. Okay, uh, smart, same here. I need a lawyer. Uh, then you should get a lawyer, Victoria. I don't, um, I can't give any legal advice, but uh, yes, you should probably report that individual. Um, uh, I'm child. Your child? I'm confused. Oh, Chilean. Okay. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? <laughs> Chilean. Nice. Right on, right on. Uh, you were in Oregon, right? Yes, I was. I will need advice about how to handle the gloomy in, oh, in Portland. Is that what PNW means? Mason Sun. Yeah. Um, I was in Eugene, Oregon, and it was years and years ago, but yeah. Um, I have this cool light, guys. Let me show you. It's the sunlight. I don't know if you heard of it, uh, but it's, uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, hang on. Let me catch up with this. Where are South American neighbors? We are, yes. Sometimes I can't read, so sorry. Um, t -t 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 on the phone, okay. Tatiana, that's right, Tatiana, Tatiana. Okay, I'm gonna remember that, Tatiana. It looks beautiful day out your window. Yeah, uh, it, it is. It's gloomy, but it's a beautiful day indeed, 100%. Uh, you don't have money. Um, I would, I think there are some attorneys that could help you if you're financially in a tight position. So I would research that. Um, Tatiana, my name is Tatiana. Yes, thank you, sorry. Oh my gosh, guys, I gotta catch up. Pacific Northwest. Oh, okay, okay, see that was so great and I get sad there, yeah. I don't know how you do it. It's not my jam, it's not for me. Um, so, Victoria, um, I understand, again, I am not a lawyer. I can't give legal advice either. So um, it sounds like you're in the right direction. So I would, um, yeah, I would just uh, report that to his subordinates, to his superiors and um, um, and uh, maybe see a lawyer. So that's what, that would be my recommendation. Anyways, guys, oh my gosh, I'm so thirsty. Um, but yeah, so I might do a Spanish one. I think I'm going to open up, I think I can do that. Um, I can open up like a Spanish account or something. Cause I feel like if I did a live in Spanish, it would confuse a lot of people. What do you guys think? How do my English speakers feel about this? Cause like, I think I have, I definitely have more English speakers, um, than Spanish speakers. So, um, just want to, maybe, maybe I could be like, we can choose a day where I can do Spanish lives. How's that? What do you guys think about that? Is that, is that like a good idea or, or no? Tell me what you think. Hello, Amanda. In the meantime, let's enjoy some tea. Both? Okay, I can do both. My Spanish is a little rough, you know. But, uh, but yeah, oh yeah, the light. I was gonna share share with you. Can you do sometimes in between? Uh, no, I'm not even a little bit of Spanish. Yeah, that's exactly. It's audience for sure. Let me show you something real quick. Uh, if you guys are feeling gloomy, what you can do is uh, get this really cool, let me turn down music. This is pyrite, by the way. If you don't know about gemstones or stones in general, look up pyrite. It's so much power, such a powerful stone. Um, anyways, um, I have ADD, so I get distracted. This is my line, because I'm a Leo. Um, but let me put this stuff aside, and this right here, 
is a light, as you can see, it's very bright, right? And it's, a, it's, a, it's like a UV light or something like that that helps you get, it helps you feel better. It acts like the sun, right? Um, and there, I think it was like, I don't know, like 10 bucks on Amazon. Uh, so I've invested in it. I turn it on when it's super cloudy, like back to back, and it really does make a big difference for me. So give that a try. Where, I, I wish, I want to tell you what it's called, but let me see. Okay, it's called a Miroco. Miroco light. Miroco, M-I-R-O. See ya, Miroco, Miroco light. It's a daylight bulb, right? I, I don't know what kind of bulb they use, um, but it helps. It does help. So try that. It's, I don't know how, it could be a placebo, it could be a mental, but it works. I also do consume vitamin D. It helps a lot with boost up your humor, or um, not humor, boost up your energy, like feeling better. So you can do, uh, you can do that as well. Um, there's, they're all natural little clear capsules like this with vitamin D. I take two of those and I feel fantastic. <laughs> um, love crystals. Where did you get it? I got this from a crystal store. Um, and I also have these coasters too. They're really, really cool. I, I just love the energy that uh, they carry. I have a couple of these, but, um, and we have them all over the house here. Um, they're just so powerful and, and I just, I feel like it's produced by the earth and it's so beautiful and um, they carry different energies. So um, yeah, huge, huge crystal person. Um, hi, it's Christine. Loved your journaling advice in the past grade. Reminder of daily affirmations. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, George, or uh, hi from Georgia, hello. Christina, um, yes, the light, who asked, can I show it again? Yes, I can show you the light again. Let me just take this off, I'll show you, I'll show you the light. And uh, this is, uh, I have some Palo Santos here. I don't know if you know what Palo Santos is, but it's like sage. And uh, a lot of people use it for cleansing, like cleaning out um, like bad energy or things of that nature. So I also, we have it like everywhere throughout the house, but um, yeah, so I like to light up a little bit of that and uh, it really makes a, a big difference for me. And it's also really good for you. Look up the facts, Google it, Palos Santos. And it's actually helps you with your immune system. Fun fact. So anyways, um, this is the light you asked me to show it to you. So, I actually just don't plug this. So this is what it looks like. And yeah, it's pretty cool. I, I love it. It works, it works great. Um, so highly recommend that if you live in an area that is gloomy, um, it makes a big difference. At least it does for me. So, yeah. Okay. Um, hope it's not a placebo if it's... <laughs> yeah. I don't think it's a placebo. I think it works. Um, dancing helps. Absolutely. I... It's like creating your own energy too. It's all perspective, you know? Like, yes, your vitamin E, your, your vitamin, your body needs vitamin D and it does help. Those are facts, but you can create your own energy. Like there's a lot of breathing exercises that you can do. There's like, have you seen those little trampolines? Well, they're not this big, obviously, but they're, they're like, I don't know, like, um, like this big or something. Um, you can jump on those like and just, Breathe, that actually gives you natural energy as well. Um, dancing is great, just, just put on some music and just, just let loose a little bit, you know? Um, that's also a really good one. Um, so yeah, like you can make, you can make, you can make it work. I love that you have photographs in your space. I do photography, oh nice. 
Yeah, my, um, yeah, absolutely. You're welcome. Um, yeah, so my girlfriend does photography and if you follow me on Instagram, she does all of my pictures. She's awesome. And this is some of her work. That was, uh, in Manhattan Beach, California. So, and then we have more throughout the house, but, um, yeah, this is our little, this is the office, the working area here. Um, but yeah, love it. Yeah, so dancing is great. It's really, really, really good. I highly recommend it. Um, or like, that's why I'm always listening to like positive music. Um, sometimes I'll, like in the evening, I'll put some Frank Sinatra or like I love music from the 1940s. I feel like it's, I don't know, I feel like I lived in that era at one point in my life. Um, but uh, yeah, just music is everything. I always listen to it. It helps me, it helps me feel good. And music carries vibrations. It's a, it's a fact. So um, yeah, like if you are depressed and you listen to depressing music, you're gonna stay depressed. Um, but <laughs> if you are depressed and you put on a little bit of fun music and just like let loose, you know, just be like, see how it feels, you know? You're like, okay, and it's like, do maybe a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of this. <laughs> and then you're gonna feel better, I promise. Uh, but don't feed into the negativity. Don't, um, don't do that to yourself. And music is a beautiful thing. There's all sorts of music, you know? And if you're someone that listens to rock, for example, try something different. Get out of your comfort zone. I listen to rock, even metal. I listen to dance music, like you're hearing a lot of that, like EDM and like just house music. I listen to country. I listen to classical music. I like opera. I like classic blues. I like rock and roll. I like a little bit of everything, depending on my mood. Reggae, right? Um, I appreciate all music. Some, uh, I like, I like good rap. I don't like, and good hip hop. What I mean by that, like not the one that's like, if it's degrading people and things like that, like I'm, I just don't agree with it, supporting that kind of stuff. Uh, but if, if it's like, uh, like there's some really awesome rappers out there that they have really powerful lyrics and, and good beat. And I like that kind of stuff too, so, um, but yeah, just listen to a little bit of everything. Like, it's fun. There's so many types of music out there in, in different countries too. Sometimes I, I like, I love Russian music, they have really cool music, um, Portuguese and uh, Italian, obviously, some Spanish, um, French, you know, I like, music is amazing. What's my horoscope? I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you a guess. <laughs> I am a Leo, yes, I am a Leo and very proud of it. I love my sign and um, yeah, it's very much of a Leo. I was, my birthday is July 31st, so strong Leo there. What breathing exercises do you recommend for insomnia? Oh, great question. I have one for you. He's, he's Leo. Yes, I am Leo. I'm a Leo too. Nice. Nice, nice. We are going to roar together. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is another tattoo that I have here, which is the lion with the sword. Um, and that's my logo for bravery. If you don't know, that's my logo. Um, but let me answer that question about breathing for insomnia. So you can do a couple of things. Listen to um, Theta music. That's one thing you can do before going to bed. Just put on your headphones and play throughout the house and um, like sound wave music and go into like do a little meditation, calm your mind. Um, if you exercise throughout the day, it's really good. Try not to consume anything with high sugar or things of that nature also, also play a part. Uh, it also CBD helps, but breathing techniques, what you can do is take, this is gonna look really weird, but I'm gonna show you because you asked, okay? Because you asked. I'm doing a lot of stretching and that helps me too. Yeah, stretching does help, but um, for breathing, it's gonna be like this. You're gonna breathe in through your nose as deep as you can 
blow out. But you're gonna do that really fast. Okay, just when you do this, please pay attention. Pay attention. Do not lock your knees. Maybe do a sitting down, right? On the couch. Because you're gonna breathe really hard, like like that, right? Like as like maybe a little even faster than that. You're gonna do that for uh, about 60 counts. So one, two, so just count the breaths. And then once you reach this number 60, you're gonna hold in and you're gonna hold it for six seconds and then you're gonna let it out. And when you let it out, I want you to push in like your stomach all the way in, like let all the air out of your, your stomach, out of, out of all out of you, right? And then hold it for four seconds if you can. You are gonna feel a little lightheaded, okay? And when you hold your breath out, when you squeeze all the air out and you hold it, it's gonna freak you out. You're gonna get the tingly fingers, that's a good thing. Just, you gotta push through, don't cheat yourself and breathe in. So, minimum three, ideally four seconds. And then breathe in heavy, hold it again, and then do that four times and then do it again. In and out. Do that four times. That cycle four times, and then you're gonna feel like you're gonna you're probably gonna sweat a little bit if you're so. Just be be mindful of that. And then I want you to after that to just put on some meditation music and just relax. And you're gonna sleep like a baby. Okay, I promise you that. And what that does is by getting all that oxygen to your brain, it puts you. Well, the hyperventilating, right? It gets a lot of oxygen to your brain, like a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. You're receiving a bunch of it, and then you're holding your breath, and then you're letting everything out, and then you're holding that, so you're lacking oxygen. It really puts the mind and, and your body all into a really calm state, okay? Um, and it's really gonna help you ultra, ultra relax your mind and your body, and it should help you sleep. Um, so, uh, give that a try. Let me know. Reach out if you have any questions because it, um, it works and it can be kind of scary if, cause you, you can get a little light headed and you, like when you, when you let the air out and you're holding it, um, I, I hold it for four to five seconds and I get my fingers, my fingers get tingly and I almost feel like I'm going to pass out, but that's, that's good. That's how you're supposed to feel. Trust me. Okay, look it up. If you don't believe me, look it up. Okay, uh, goodness, I cannot tell you how much I love your energy. Well, good, I'm glad. That's, I am here to, like energy is, is like, it's by, by being around people who are energetic, something, right, you start to like, you start to see like, oh wow, I like that. I, I wanna be a part of that. I wanna be within that realm of energy, right? Um, and it really puts you in a uh, in a vibration field yourself. And if you're feeling funky or down, and then you're met with someone with a higher energy, it gives you encouragement to 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 meet them there. And when you start to put yourself at a higher vibration, you start to think different. You start to think more positive. There's a whole psychology behind this, right? And that's why, like, if I'm sharing messages with you guys. Right? I want to I want to get you to feel this energy. I want to get you to this high vibration. And so you can you can you can see yourself, you can start to believe, you can start to really think a little bit differently and bring yourself up into a different vibration, into a different field of vibration, right? Because when you do that, you're able to start to look at things at that vibrational field. Does that make sense? If you're at a low vibration, you're going to feel everything low. You're going to see the whole world's gonna be at that level of vibration. You're gonna attract that, right? But if you're willing to start taking care of yourself, start really believing in yourself, doing these positive affirmations and the meditations and really like being kind to yourself, you're starting to raise up your vibration and you're starting to feel more positive about yourself. You're starting to feel more positive about life and in return, things in the outside world, outside of you, appear more positive and you start to attract abundance look i have these sticky notes myself ladies and gentlemen you know i do sticky notes for myself i do it for my partner right and they are important they're just reminders that hey like 
I welcome abundance. I welcome greatness. I, I am kind. I am, and you're not being full of yourself. You're just keeping yourself with that high, high vibration because if I feel good, I can show up feeling great for you guys too. And you can all benefit from it. So it's kind of like a, it's an energy field. It's what it is. So thank you so much. I'm glad that you uh, really like this. You, you can feel the energy and that you, you like it. Uh, good breathing exercises. Yes, try it out. Do you like uh, petrified wood? Yes, I do. Um, thanks for sharing about the breathing exercises. Yeah, you're welcome. Um, hello, if you're just joining, we're just talking about breathing exercises and we're talking about vibrations and how, you know, someone mentioned like they like the, my energy and um, I'm just sharing like why it's important that I share this with you guys. This is who I am by the way. I'm never fake. Um, and there are times where I bring myself in a really low state of meditation to do some of the messages for you that you've seen on my TikTok. That's because like I want to come from a sincere place. So I'll like take all this hyperness and I just breathe and I just, I just bring like, I, I become like a really calm and really in tune into whatever I want to deliver. And I, I tap into that and it's like very peaceful and in my mind and in my heart and in my body. And then I deliver that message. So you can feel that, right? I try to be at different vibrational fields to really connect with people that are in that vibrational field themselves. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? Or does it not really make sense? If you think I'm crazy, that's okay. That's okay. But it works. <laughs> it works. Uh, how often do you, how often you do lives? Um, I used to do them as of last week on Wednesdays and on Sundays, but I'm gonna start doing them more because I want to show up more for you guys. And um, I think it's important. I think it's important that all of you get to see more of me, me blah, blah, blah. <laughs> that all of you get to see more of me and I want to interact with my followers, right? I don't want to just create TikTok videos because they're very short and the message that I, that I produce, it's, it's hopefully powerful, but it's very short, right? And there's so much more to that. So um, I'm going to start doing more lives um, randomly, but I want to get on a schedule so people can just, people that want to attend them can attend them. If that makes any sense. But I'm still learning like when is the best time, if it's the mornings, if it's the evenings, if it's the afternoons. Um, I also am pretty busy guy, <laughs> person. So um, yeah, that's a struggle too. Sometimes I it's, um, I have clients and um, I have obviously my personal life, I have packages, I have projects that I'm working on. Um, this is what I do for a living. I work for myself. So, uh, you know, this is me giving. I believe in giving. I think it's really important. Um, it's part of abundance. You know, if you want to receive abundance, you have to really put out this energy of um, and help people. That's what I want to do. So, um, I want to do more. I want to give back more to all of you and, and be more helpful um, and, and share with all of you like what I'm all about. And I love to learn from you. Like some of you are, are always on my lives and I just want to say thank you so much. I really appreciate you all. And I, um, yeah, I, I just would hope that one day when I have my coming soon, my events, hopefully you guys can make it. And I love to just meet you and give you a hug. Um, if you want, put on a mask, whatever, <laughs> but, and just say thank you. Um, because this is the, you know, still in the beginning stages for me, for what, everything that I want to do, um, with, with this life calling, um, I want it to be huge because I want to help as many people as possible. So I'm also going to be doing volunteering work, more volunteering work and, um, just helping the world, helping humanity. And I'm going to be asking you guys to, you know, to just pass it along. Be good, be good people. Even if people are shitty, just be good. Be good to others and be kind to yourself and do your best as a human being and that's all. It doesn't, you don't have to put so much pressure on yourself. Just do your best and you know, just remember that life is beautiful if you want it to be. Um, and uh, we live in a beautiful place. We live in a beautiful world. So um, yeah, just uh, really want all of you to remember that. 
you know, just today, this moment that we're having right now, it's, this is it. It's part of life. And I choose to do this for all of you, for, for all of you strangers from across the world. Um, because that's what my, my heart feels so full when I do this, when I'm able to connect with so many of you um, around the globe. And um, it's beautiful. That's, that's, that's what being a human is about. Um, and I'm grateful for this technology, for this platform. So, um, yeah. Anyways, I'm going to let you guys go now because I need to go shower. And I, oh wow, it's 5 p.m. I got to start work on dinner and I got to get other things done. But uh, where are talking from? Can you ask that question again? Where am I talking from? Um, I am in Tennessee. The U.S. of A. Tennessee. Awesome. Take care, guys. Thank you so much for joining. I hope this was helpful. Have an incredible, incredible, amazing rest of your week. Please, 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 please have an amazing day. And uh, I give you my all of my love, peace, and high vibrations to all of you. Uh, please stay motivated. Stay amazing. You are all incredible people. Okay. Don't forget that. Don't anybody tell you otherwise. And uh, until next time. Take care. Bye.